Another cloudless day in the Texas High Plains takes its toll on the region's crops. The driest year and the hottest summer on record have cost the state's farmers and ranchers more than $5 billion so far. That's just a small ear, but you can see there's not a lot of grain on it. Farmer Harold Grawl says it's the worst he's seen in his 33 years of farming. We need to take away something good from this year since it's been such a difficult year, so we are learning a lot. One of the people teaching farmers the lessons of the drought is Nick Kenny, an irrigation expert with Texas A&M University. And you hate to see a person go through that, but if it affects the management regime and the, the strategies that people use for the better, this year may be a year that changes crop production in the Texas High Plains. Those changes will have to come, because while this year was extreme, there is one grim fact about farming in this area, says Harold Grawl. But we know the direction that we're heading. You know, it's like, what part of we're running out of water, don't you understand? All the farmers' irrigation water comes from a limited underground reservoir that will run out. In some places, not for a century or more, but others have just a decade or two left at current rates of use. When the water dries up, so will the region's economy, says Stephen Walthour, head of the region's water authority. Our bread and butter is irrigated agriculture, and we have to look at how do we keep it going for as long as we can. A walk through another one of Harold Grawl's fields provides a look at the latest in maximizing crop per drop. Low-hanging irrigation hoses deliver water right to the base of the plant. Compared to the old, wasteful method of flooding the crop rows, it's a big improvement. Grawl leaves the stalks and residue from last year's crop on the field. Farmers used to till them under, but Grawl says they cool the soil and less water evaporates. And also less runoff because that residue, just like a big sponge, is just kind of soaking up all the water that we, we might receive from the rainfall. Soaking it up and holding on to it for the plants to use. And the plants themselves need less water. This year, Grawl is trying out new drought-tolerant maize varieties from two seed companies. And you can see that good ear size, uh, the corn is filled almost to the end. In this year's exceptional drought and heat, they clearly outperformed older varieties. Grawl is even trying out a new high-tech system that sends data from underground soil probes to his computer. It tells him whether enough water is getting to the plant's roots. We have real-time access to what is going on in the soil. This system is not cheap. Each underground probe costs $2,500. But Grawl says the water savings will be worth it. This is going to be a huge difference. We need tools like this, all the tools available to us at this point, that we can help you know, preserve our water. Because preserving water means preserving livelihoods. In a region where farming is not just a business, but also a way of life. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Dumas, Texas.